Okay, today's Sunday. Yes, I'm doing a Sunday walk today because of the weather forecast for tomorrow being not too good. And I'm doing book one, walk 38, which is 13 miles from Hanborough to Charlbury. We're on the um, fringes of the Cotswolds here. Quite a long way out of London, just north of Oxford. Just got off the uh, 9.35 train, so it's now 11 o'clock, approximately. Uh, single track railway here, I notice, with um, a new line being built out to Morton on the Marsh, where all the uh, rich types live. Anyway, weather so far is a bit mixed. Some promise up there. Just hope the promise doesn't turn out to be rain, but the weather forecast for today is sunny intervals, which is why I've come up here. Got the old boots back. Burgau said I couldn't do anything about the ankle problem, so uh, no pain at the moment. So fingers crossed I won't have any issues with it, but let's see in about six hours time. 20 minutes in, I've just crossed the river even load. A river which uh, basically runs up into Charlbury, so I'll be seeing a lot of it today. Sun's out. Railway line just in the distance there. First buzzard of the day. There's a pair of them flying around this field at the moment. You can just about hear their uh, cry. And the cockerel. So here we are at the Coombe Gate entrance to Blenheim Palace. Just about to enter. Ruddy cockerels are still uh, crowing. Coming up noon. Well, here we are in the Blenheim Estate. Fantastic forest. Traditional English forest. Birch, oak. Delightful. Now we've got some great Scots pine. Dad's favourite tree, the old copper beech. Delightful lake over there with a the coot in action. Goes on for quite a distance actually. Lovely lily pads. Plenty of pheasants about as well. Well that's a lovely view of the Great Bridge over there. and Blenheim Palace in the distance. Morning. Morning. Interesting. 
grebe over there, I believe. Another vista of the lake. Blenheim Palace from the Great Bridge. The lake again. The Duke of Marlborough apparently uh, wanted a, <coughs> to remember the um, victories that he had had. So the great column was erected over there in the distance and he always wanted to be able to see it from the palace, which you can do. I'll be over there in a minute. Right, this is a column of victory built in 1704 to commemorate Duke of Marlborough's victories over the French at Blenheim. Apparently there's um, more than 6,000 words on the column. To commemorate the victories. The palace in the distance there was built same time, well earlier actually, and uh, the object of the exercise was that the bedroom, Duke of Marlborough's bedroom, you could always see this column. Designed by Vanbra, gardens built by Capability Brown. Year of the Queen. I'm headed up that way. Of course, Blenheim Palace is also the birthplace of Churchill in 1874, apparently. And it's an exhibition to all uh, stuff Churchillian in the palace. Just seen my first red kite of the day as well. So they're down here as well at the moment. Not surprising, really. So we're following the Blenheim Park public footpath by all accounts. Just a little bit of information now about this kissing gate. It's by the AOMB volunteer wardens. As you can hear, plenty of sheep about. Taking shelter over there in the shade. Those lovely copper beaches again. Quite a feature that column of victory.